assalamu alaikum and welcome back to mathematics uh today the paper i'm going to do is a level cis pure maths 1 paper code 9709 variant 12 for may june 2025 so this is question number one of our paper and that is about the transformations so let's read out the question they say the diagram shows the graphs with equations y equals to f of x this graph and y equals to g of x this graph describe the sequence of two transformations which transform y equals to f of x to y equals to g of x make clear the order in which the transformations should have been applied so there are two transformations and we need to tell the order as also clearly so first of all we have to analyze it in all ways firstly you can see that your graph this has shifted to this place so that means it is clearly just have translated some units downwards so that means you can write it to be translation k units down This is your first analyzation. Second is you have to check. You can clearly see that there is some change in the shape as well. So first analyze it horizontally. Horizontally, if you could see. Horizontally, this is two units and this is also two units. This is three units wide and this is also three units wide this was four units and this is also four units so there is no horizontal stretch as seen from the graph now analyze it vertically if you could see here this was one one units wide the length is one unit this side and now it is two units and if we analyze this thing this is three units and this much has become now six units so this is how you can clearly see a vertical stretch of you can clearly see what is the factor factor two because when it is stretched with along the y-axis you can um, it's like just a direct two times f of x in the y direction okay so now we have to analyze a few more things as seen from the graph you can see that this has shifted here when it has moved eight units down but uh, this is this will not be a correct interpretation of this rather there is a better way of understanding it and that is by looking into the vertex any vertices so i'm taking this point what are the coordinates of this point 0 comma 6 and it has shifted to 0 comma minus 2 okay so let's analyze this 6 times two i'll i'll show you both ways first if it is a vertical stretch first and then translation or if it is a translation first and then vertical stretch so first analyzing it this way that if it the vertical stretch has happened first then this zero six multiplied by two will make the coordinate zero comma twelve okay and then if the translation has happened translation has happened then this has become 0 comma minus 2 so how many units it has moved downward to get minus 2 so it is 12 minus minus 2 sorry which what should be added in 12 
are subtracted from 12 to get minus 2. So, if 14 is subtracted from 12, it will give you minus 2. Okay, so that means there is a translation of minus 14. So, I am again writing it wrong. Translation uh, with the unit vector, uh, with the column vector, you can also represent so 0, comma, my, 0 and minus 14. You can check this for any other vertex, vertex also, any other point. So, I am taking, let's say, take this point. The coordinates are minus 2 comma minus um, 5. So it should be, what is the vertical stretch? If 2 is multiplied with it, it becomes minus 4, oh, sorry, minus uh, 2 times multiplied, only the vertical stretch. So only the y coordinate will be multiplied. So it will become minus 2 comma 10. So what is added to 10? To get your coordinates to be minus 2 comma minus 4 to get minus 4. Obviously in 10 what we will be adding or subtracting. So 10 minus 14 will give you minus 4. So that means for this one also. This is clear that the translation is of 0 minus 14. I am explaining this in a more detailed way. Yes, you can do it directly also. But when you will understand the concept, you will be able to do it quickly. So this is how you will decide for the translation. So yeah, so, so first I am writing. First way of doing it will be vertical stretch. by a factor 2 and second is translation represented by a common column vector 0 minus 40. Now if you want to look for the translation first and then the vertical stretch then it would be altogether in a different way. Just give me a minute. I'll do it that. If you want to look into the other way, like, like translation has happened first. And then vertical stretch. So vertical stretch factor is for sure because we analyze this that every vertically, every length is double. So vertical stretch for sure we know whether it is happening firstly or lastly is of factor 2. So, we will again look for the any point, take any point like this is 0 comma 6 and it has shifted to 0 comma minus 2. So, you have to analyze that this 0 comma 6 or just take 6, 6 is shifted to minus 2. So, first something is added in it. And then multiplied with 2 uh, to get a minus 2. Okay. So you can do it this way also. So 6 is uh, something is added in 6. Added or subtracted any number vertically. That means, that means the y coordinate. That uh, and then multiplied with 2. That is your vertical stretch will give you minus 2. So let's find out what will be k then. So 6 plus k equals minus 2 over 2 that gives you minus 1 and k equals minus 1 minus 6 that is minus 7. So that means your translation has happened of 0 minus 6 minus 7. Okay this is forced shifted 7 units down. 7 units down that means this point will be the point and then it is stretched by a factor 2 that it that made it 0 minus 2. 
I hope it makes sense to you. Okay. Uh, actually, transformations by looking at the transformation, it seems like it's very easy to understand it because you can clearly see it is going to eight unit downwards. But to understand it in a more better way, it is better always to look for the vertices. How the vertices are changing from one place to another. I hope you understand this. I hope you get the concept. Thank you.